G'day guys, Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install task sequence or add new task sequences to MDT 2013. I'm using update 2 with a Windows 10 image. Now this is the same MDT which we've been using in this series of videos. If you haven't seen any of the other ones, there's um, how to install WDS, how to install MDT and configure it to deploy a Windows 10 image. So we're just basically going to create another task sequence which is the part when you boot MDT or boot to an MDT boot image where it asks you which task sequence you want to do. So it could be a Windows 10 task sequence, could be a Windows 8 task sequence, could be anything. You could have five different Windows 10 task sequences that do different things. So to actually create the new task sequence, you need to right click on the task sequence um, icon over here on the left and select new task sequence. And then give the task sequence an ID and also a name. The name is what's going to show up inside of your um, deployment boot image. Like when you boot to the deployment image, it will show up as that. So we're just going to make a um, standard client task sequence. You can pick these other ones and I'll go through them in later videos. Some of the other task sequence types. And then just click next. Then you'll need to select your operating system, which this task sequence is going to be. So you could have Windows 7 in here as well, or Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, Windows Server, 2012 Server, or Server Essentials, or any version you want. You can put in um, a product key. So if you had a volume license agreement, this would be where you would put in your product key for that volume license agreement. So then you wouldn't have to go around and activate each one manually, put in the volume or the license key for Windows. So then you just need to give your user a name. We're just going to call him user. Type in an organization. And you can set the Internet Explorer homepage from here too. So I'm just going to set it to uh, heresjaken.com. And you can check out heresjaken.com for more videos as well. Hit next. And now you're going to have to put an administrator password. Now when you're creating the task sequence, you have to have an administrator password. So chuck in something that you'll remember, document it, make sure you don't forget it. Because it's really bad when you do want to go into the built-in administrator account and you cannot get in because you don't know the password. Then hit next. And now you'll get a summary of all the settings you've made. Read over it, make sure it's right, hit next. Then you'll see the task sequence is created. You can also view the script. So this is the PowerShell script that um, that runs. So if you want to learn more about PowerShell, it's good to read these scripts and just get your head around what they're doing. So if you ever do want to do things in PowerShell and Server Core, you've got your head around it. Then hit Finish. There you go. Now you've got your new task sequence. You can right-click and go to Properties. This part here is where you edit the task sequence, which we'll tackle in another video. And you can also edit the unattend.xml file. Anyway, don't forget like and subscribe to see more videos. Going to be doing more on MDT 2013, so stay tuned.